Rolling. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl here in the building. Um, today I have a guest. First of all, hi, if you're seeing me for the very first time, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're a subscriber already, hi! Thank you for coming back. Hey guys, so today I have a guest on my channel, my friend. I am diary. <coughs> <laughs> this video is going to be a catastrophe. Okay. Hi guys, I'm Dari Adegun and yeah. I'm a student here in Germany studying software engineering mm. and I've known Hamara for over a year now. Yeah, she's it's a good a girl. Year. Yeah, we met uh, December 26th, I think, 2019. 26? Yeah, during the nice Oh, it's way, my brain registered 2006. I was like, boy, I'm still, <laughs> I was still in, in primary school. That was when I entered secondary school, 2006. So, that's when you, oh. So today, from the title of this video, we will be asking or we will be answering the questions. Um, some of you are kind of scared to ask, like everything. Or oh, do you want to tell them? No, no, just continue. <laughs> we will be answering questions about relationships, about I don't know gender roles and all that. So how it's going to work is that we have questions for each other. So, um, yeah, I ask him a question, he answers, and I also get to say my point or my view or my opinion on the question. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. Do you want to go first? No, you go first. I go first. Ladies first. Okay. Do you, you still remember that video I made about dating in Germany? Mm, yeah. Now, you know how people came for me, yeah? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no, no, no. This is an open ground. So, um, the first question I have for you is... Okay. When you go out on a date with a girl, yeah. who pays? Oh. I think uh, I'm going to say this. First, you know, with the mentality I came into Germany from Nigeria, mm -hmm. uh, when you go out on a date with a girl, a lady rather, the guy pays... You understand so that's how I grew up and uh, when I came into Germany I discovered that okay when you go out on a date both of you have to pay separately she pays and you pay yours so that's just it um, I've never been on a date where the, in Germany here where the lady pays or uh, for for the both of us or I pay for the both of us so you pay separately uh, it's your all your dates you have split the, this in the bill yeah it can never be me. Interesting, right? It can never be me. Do you know what I think? What do you think? I think that pain is actually not... It has nothing to do to do with gender. Do you grab? Whoever asks the other person out mm -hmm. should pay. Like, who is cutting who? Do you grab? If I see you tomorrow now, I'm like, Diary, let's go grab, I don't know, um, an ice cream. Okay. And grab. And I asked you out. I don't mind paying. I've and 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 it all, I think it also depends on the relationship you grab. If it's a first date, you are seeing me yeah. for the very first time. We are going out. I think the guy should pay. The guy should pay. But if I'm out with you now, diary as my friend, I don't yeah. mind taking up the bill. Like it's nothing. Me is me asking the guy to pay doesn't mean that I can't pay or that I don't want to pay. But it's just like. Uh, how do I put this not to sound sexist? Mm. Um, okay. Yeah, it's just you asked me out. So you should pay. And you're trying to get in a relationship with me. You're wooing me. Like, if you cannot buy me a plate of meal, how am I sure you're going to, you're going to, like, when we end <laughs> up married, that you can put me in a comfortable house? I mean, and you can feed me when we get married. Like, what is a plate of food? I, I've been, I've, excuse me, I've, when I go out with my friends, my male friends, yeah. I pay. If I want to pay, I, okay, I might be like, okay, you grab the ice cream and I grab the food. Do you grab? So okay. we could like do it like that, but it's not as if you are separating it because this person should pay or this person. It's just like a normal thing. 
but I still stand on if it's a first date, the guy should pay. If it's just a, if it's, um, yeah, the guy should pay and the guy asks the girl out. But if the girl asks the guy out, the guy should, the girl should pay or at least offer to pay. And some men don't even like it when you pay for them. <clears throat> kind of, uh, you know, their masculinity gets in the Yeah, way. I mean, someone like me, right? <laughs> so you don't like it when a girl pays? I mean, I don't, it's, uh, I mean, that's what I said earlier. I mean, the kind of setting I came into Germany. Uh, into Germany. But you just said that you know your date. You split the this. You split the bill. I mean, yeah. What I'm saying is, I, 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 I will feel uncomfortable if you try to pay for me. Mm -hmm. So that. But splitting is okay. Splitting is okay. I will mean, you initiate the splitting? Will you like ask her if she wants to split? I have till I came into Germany. I never tried that. I always paid. I always paid, or you know. But when I came into Germany, you just, you know, you go on a date and then you just have to, okay, give me your money, give me my money, let's go and pay. Uh, so you're the one who asked for the money first? No, I mean, the, the, the first time I, uh, I had a date. Was it a German? Yeah. Okay. She, she, she just, okay, I mean, we have to go now. Can I have your cash? You know, she said we have to go now and she was like, okay, can I have your cash? And I put out my money, give it to her and then mm. she went to pay. Mm. So. I don't mind paying. Pain is the least of my worry. I don't mind pain. Too. If I, I mean, if if I got ready to come meet you, okay, is it pain that I can't pay? I don't know. You might not have money. <laughs> if I don't have money, I sit my ass back at home. I don't sure? go on a date broke. Hmm. I don't. I don't meet someone broke. Hmm. If I know I don't have money to pay for whatever I'm eating, I stay at home. So can you date a broke guy? Can I date a broke guy? Yeah. Broke, does it have the potential? Like, how is this broke? Is it broke due to circumstances or broke that he's just lazy? <laughs> I mean, we're not talking about laziness now. I mean, maybe he had a job, he lost his job and yeah, he's trying to get a job. But at the moment, he's broke. Yeah, why not? Okay. Why not? Okay. Because, um, yeah, I know that this is not someone who is broke by option. Hmm. You grab it's not as if you woke up and you like you're lazy and I don't know how to put it But if you just lost your job like it's not as if I'm even asking you eh? I don't when I'm in a relationship with a guy. I don't I don't I don't I'm not looking For you to pay my bills. I pay I can pay my house rent. I can feed myself. So it's not as if Me dating a guy. I depend on him. So the brokenness <laughs> So the brokenness there is not really a game changer for me. Mm, okay. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice to know. Yeah. Yeah. But just have sense. That's the thing. <laughs> so what if, what if it doesn't have sense? Ah, then there's... Mm -mm. You can't date someone, I can't date someone sense. that doesn't have sense. Okay. What are we? What should we be doing? What if he has no sense but he has cool cash? I can't. Really? Yeah. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. I can't because money money might be a lot of things, but at the end of the day, it's not everything. Yeah? I hope so. So, my next question for you is, um, what are the first questions, like what are the questions you ask someone on the first date or you should ask someone on the first date? Uh, sincerely, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you guys discuss? I mean, it's, I, I always like, uh, I like spontaneity. Okay. I, I don't like a situation where I have something at the back of my mind. I like to be spontaneous. Like No, it's not having something at the back of your mind. It's just trying to get to know this person better. You're trying to know me more. What are the questions that are important to you? Oh, okay. So, uh, I think it would be, I would like to know what, what do you enjoy doing? Okay. Yeah. What do you enjoy doing? Uh, or uh, apart, maybe the person is a she works mm -hmm. a nine to five job, mm -hmm. or you know any kind of job. But another question I'll ask is apart aside your job, mm -hmm. uh, what other skill do you have? Like what do you do? Maybe something you're passionate about? Because mm -hmm. I know most of us, yes, uh, nowadays we we most of the things that we are doing we are not passionate about it. Mm. And just, that's really excuse, that's really how we got to be friends, yeah. <laughs> We are just weighing our cameras because if you guys don't know, Daya is a professional photographer. So yeah, we kind of started talking about cameras and he helped me set my up and all that. I should have so. used that to, to toast you. 
<laughs> You've missed your chance. I'm trying. You've trying. missed your chance. I'm I'm um, okay, I think I have a question. I want to answer that question I just asked you. Okay. Now. When I go out, well, this is not something that I've always done, but you know, as time goes on, we grow, we mature. Um, when I go on dates, or like real dates, someone that I know that um, I'm really interested, I can't. Do you know what I'm saying it now? I, don't, I can't remember the last time I was on a date. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I was on date. You should visit Shiloh. Shiloh, we are. Turn that fire. You see that I visit Shiloh. So, um, one of the questions that I really um, love to ask or I would love to know about someone is like, how are you when you're angry? Oh, okay. So, first. No, I'm not done. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm not done. Um, one of the questions is like, um, what what are you like when you're angry? Okay. Yeah. And second of all, like like how do you apologize? Oh, okay. Like when there is an issue, how do you apologize? Do you grab me? Okay. Because you know, so many people like people are different. People are wired different. Yeah. So how the way I apologize might not be the way you apologize, you grab. Yeah. And the way you accept it might not be the way I accept it. Yeah. And yeah, maybe the person's love language. Do you have a love language? I think so, yeah. yeah. Affirmation. What's aff affirmation? Affirmation, yeah. 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 Okay, I think mine is all of them. Uh, yeah. yeah. So the uh, five love languages yeah. Words of affirmation, act of service, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, receiving gifts, not gifts giving. Okay. <laughs> receiving gifts quality and time. quality time. Yeah. And then physical touch. I think uh, for me, first one is words of affirmation. Yeah. Uh, the second one is physical touch. Mm. So you're touchy touch. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Okay. I like to cuddle. Oh, okay. Me too. Uh, the third one, I think it's acts of service. Yeah. The fourth one, I think physical thought. Oh, sorry. Uh, so you're basically all of them. I mean, it's when I okay. Did they it, have like their priorities. Yeah. Ah, okay, that's nice. That's so, good. So when I did the test, it was okay. The first one is mm. the first one. Then was mm. uh, ah. Receiving gifts. <laughs> I think receiving gifts would be on the number one for me. But the thing is that I think I'm all of them. Like, why not? Why can't I have all of them? Hmm. Okay. Why? Am I not able Nobody's dragging to have all of them? Like literally, I am. I want all of them. Like mm. all of them are my love language. So. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, so can I ask you, answer your question now? Um. Did I ask you a question? Yes, you did. Oh. You forgot. Sorry. Tell ah, me. yes. Okay. The questions. How oh, oh, are you when you're angry? When you get angry? Ah. Okay. Reacting? That wasn't actually a question, but you could answer. The second one is uh. Uh, How do you apologize? Yeah, so when when I'm angry, firstly I don't get angry so easily. Are you sure? Yes, I get angry with the people I really love. Mm. So yes, it's, my, it's like, called okay. Cute my girlfriend, anger. my my girlfriend, if she maybe she has to do something really really small for me to get angry. Small, so, I be big. No, I don't get angry over big things. Ah. Just little things that gets me angry. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, when I'm hungry, I don't talk. Ah. So, but now the holder I get, the more I understand that, okay, you know, you just have to talk. You so to I, talk. I don't allow the hunger to go beyond yeah. the day. Yeah. So it's Definitely. very important for me. Yeah. And then also, how do I apologize? I mean, I take time, 10, 5, 10 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And even though sometimes it's really difficult to say, I always say, okay, I'm sorry understand so it's just to allow the whole situation to die down mm. yeah so yeah but i think apologizing goes beyond that because there are for me i categorize um apology into different sections okay first of all the regrets mm. yeah you've apologized i am sorry mm? that's it second is um responsibility i am sorry I know what I did was wrong. Taking the responsibility for your act. 
Mm? Yeah. Then the third one is repentance. Yeah? I am sorry. I know what I did. I will not do it again. You don't have to go to church. <laughs> it's now. <laughs> issues like and, and then you see people be like oh i'm sorry but like you it's more important for you to defend yourself yeah. than than just owning up like i am hurting you did something bad okay. and you defending yourself is more important to you do you grab and mm -hmm. also the language yeah the body language why so when someone is apologizing yeah like okay i'm sorry get over it you know are you you're not mad mm. you're not <laughs> You're not crazy. I'm sorry, just get over it. Well, you know? Well, well, I think any apology that comes with I'm sorry, just get over it is not an apology. It's not. So I, I think genuine apology comes with hey babe, I'm sorry about yeah, what Yeah, there's not they don't have to be babe. I mean it's it's more like, you know, yeah. just calming the whole environment yeah. and the whole situation. Mm. Yeah, you can talk about what happened later, yeah. but that moment just you know say, Okay, I'm sorry and uh, but we can let's talk about this. Mm. I think that's more mature yeah. than you know. I'm sorry. Mm. Just get over it. Mm. Uh, no, 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 yeah. no. She's gonna get more angry. Yeah, ah, me. <laughs> we are going to burn down the house that day. Okay, no, no, sleep outside now. <laughs> but one thing about how I am, um, you said about how people react when they are angry. Yeah. Um, communication, like going into anything, going into relationship, into friendship communication is key like girls let me girls and guys but this is what guys do mostly you get into a relationship with a guy you'll be like eh i'm not the calling type what do you mean you're not the calling type okay calling someone is the least you can do to show how much you care for the person what the person really means to you because i know that when i when i really like someone i want to speak to the person is that why you call so, me the time? <laughs> i don't <laughs> i don't call you all the time well, you, I mean, you've called me like three times a day because of this video are you sure yeah okay okay <laughs> he almost didn't make it to this video today Oh. So, um, yeah, I've really, because before, do you know before I didn't understand this, I didn't like know that this was such a huge factor and it always came back, like almost always blew on my face. Hmm. Like from, from day one, if a guy tells you, I am not the calling type, run, run, <laughs> don't even meet him the next day. So what, what if a guy tells you, uh, like... I like it when we have our privacy sometimes, you know, like... Uh, what do you need privacy for? Hey! <laughs> don't get me wrong. I, I also... Don't get me wrong, yeah? I also sometimes need my time. Yeah. Mm? But when you really love someone, what is... What, what do you need privacy for? Like, privacy, is he, is he like a constant thing? Will you now turn into a constant thing? Or? I also don't like someone being all up in my face and all that. Well, that, it's so easy to say, but when you're in love with someone, you want to be, you want to grab them. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, but uh, two, four, seven. The, but there are some of us who, even though we're really in love with someone, mm -hmm. we, we know how to, you know, uh, give them space, yeah. that privacy mm -hmm. and stuff. What will you say are the dynamics of um, mm -hmm. a toxic relationship? Like, what are the quintessential hmm. of it? <laughs> <laughs> Let me check this out. The things you, uh, the, the dynamics of a toxic relationship. First, I'll say uh, nagging excessively. Uh, when a lady or a guy nags excessively, you, you have to really, you know, you have to check yourself and check the relationship mm -hmm. and see if it's okay, if the nagging is okay or not. Okay, uh, what do you mean nagging? Which nagging is okay and not okay? I think now something happened and uh, maybe both uh, the parties that the stuff happened to already settled and apologized and you know everybody expect the whole situation to die down but then you just keep talking about it trying to draw up some you know mm. form of unnecessary attention and yeah you know there are some people who can't take it for someone like me, I, I hate it. Mm -hmm. I hate that kind of situation because it's more like a toxic environment for me mm -hmm. because I believe 
once something has happened, you look for solution and then you go, you get yeah, over it. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I think nagging excessively. Not it's normal to nag. Yeah, guys, girls nag, but uh, doubting. You know, when you doubt your partner, I think it's toxic. Mm -hmm. It's uh, because once you say I trust you, it's uh, you don't say oh, you don't say oh second guess or. Uh, I don't. I, I have to think about it. So I'm trying. To, I am trying to, you know, form something in my mind yeah. if it's true or not. Mm. Being jealous is good, mm. but excessive, excessive. Mm. Uh, Je being mm. jealous excessively is toxic because you you tend to you tend to do things you're not supposed to do. Imagine maybe your your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Uh, is she's he or she's taking a walk with his or her friend and then you 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 see them and the next thing you're you're saying is who is this who is this i mean can i tell you why we do that yeah why because men are scum <laughs> don't touch my beards uh, so for you it's jealousy nagging and doubt yeah okay our trust issues um okay um i would say a dysfunctional relationship is where okay i'm going to speak um as a woman now yeah i'm not going to generalize i'm just going to base as i'm a woman yeah yeah i think a dysfunctional relationship is a relationship where the guy yeah from a woman's side now is making you or even vice it could also be vice versa like when someone is making you work so hard for their affection oh. and for their um, for their attention, like being in a relationship is already stressful enough for someone to come and give you the extra stress. Do you grab me? You might need it. No, no, I don't. And another thing for me is when a relationship is affecting the other part of your life negatively like let's say your, your work okay you know you go to work you can't concentrate because you're thinking what is this guy doing where is he like what where is like do you know yeah. like you, you can't sleep and someone like me i am an overthinker really? i think uh, like my brain the way they'll go around yeah i believe that the quality of your relationship yeah should sometimes determine the quality of your life hmm do you grab mm. like when you are in a very dysfunctional relationship it's it it throws you like up and above the lion in you is awake right now <laughs> there's no lion in me there's no lion no, you're doing motivational speaking it's not motivational <laughs> <laughs> there is no i'm just saying it yeah first of all when someone is making you work so hard girl just move you just move lie. like i shouldn't be working tirelessly like people carry their baggages from from past relationship and bring it into the um, present relationship and then make the other person work tirelessly That's i can't do like it, it's it's stressful yeah sure, sure relationship should be something you work on and not something you i don't what how do i even put it it's not something you should manage yeah it, yeah it's like a collaboration so everyone bring your 50 percent i bring my 50 percent and we put it together so <laughs> thank you. you guys so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and tell them to subscribe subscribe <laughs> what was that <laughs> so go follow dare um, on instagram at dare underscore adegu yeah d-a-r-e-y underscore a-d-e-g-u-n yeah so our handles are on the screen somewhere please subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below if you have any opinion to the topics we just discussed right now just come to the comment section let's chat okay yes. bye bye